Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Manchester. It is, of course, Thursday. No, it's Friday, isn't it? Oh my God, it's Friday, the fifteenth of Septo, and the uh, the people who witnessed Jehovah, they saw him. He was there. They're here to bother God again. But they saw him. Wait. It's El Piccadilly a bus station. And what is going on with the cops? Let's have a look. It might be nothing. It might be everything. But this stretch here is a very shitty area where there's a lot of uh, slow suiciders with the OD. And uh, it's almost reassuring. They need to clean up the city. Basically, Manchester will always lag behind London purely on the, the crackhead problem. And I, I'm all for... I'm all for love and tolerance and being nice to people, but you got to have love and tolerance and being nice to young families and toddlers and law-abiding grannies and also just young single women who want to maybe walk around at dusk or dawn without having 10 very, very persistent men pestering them to go to the cash machine. Just 10 pounds, please. What's it to you, please? Just 10 pounds. I know you can afford it, please. Ugh. Okay, we're back at back at the scene. Picoid. Picadoidal. How's it going? Security guard behind me having a tap on the window, gave me the thumbs up. He's quite he's quite a ripped guy. He can probably uh, bench press three Charlie Veaches, so I'm not gonna mess with him. <laughs> Just had another conversation with one of the friendly uh, female police officers. And the poor lady has been bitten once again on the hand. And uh, this happened a few years ago. She's got a big scar on her arm. She got bitten on the hands, a little wound. And I'm going to nickname her Jaws, PC Jaws from now on. But on a positive note, it shows that she is actively policing. So a heavy police presence. There's a van behind me. There's two more officers behind me. There should be two officers about to appear. There they are. Now, uh, is it a theft at a Primark? Primani? Or is it something else? They are walking with purpose. We'll see what we can get. Walking along, a doggy, doggy, dog, dog, dog. Alleyway cop. Now here is uh, your best uh, disabled parking, disabled parking, and uh, perfect spot. Look at that. Okay, we're on uh, King Street. Spoke to a couple of cops, and uh, they are looking for Just Stop Oil, Extinction Rebellion protesters. Apparently, they're in Parsonage Gardens down there on the right. And uh, as we all know, our Extinction Rebellion, Just Stop Oil brethren are massive fans of uh, obstructing a public highway. That's their modus operandi. That's how they do it. And uh, it's uh, extremely stressful for your average innocent road user who very well may be picking up a child from hospital, taking a granny to a medical appointment. You never know. Um, someone might be rushing to see their child being born. and. Uh, no protester has the right to uh, impede an average Joe or an average Jane from going about their daily lives. Okay, well, welcome to Parsonage Garden. Parsonage. Parsonage. And uh, there's more police than actual protesters, but uh, we'll investigate that. There's some people with a tripod and the camera set up over there. There's a few police over here. We'll have a look at the sunny, sunny, sunny. They, there is one protester. Hey guys. Hi. Hello, good morning. Just gonna get some shots. Hey, we are the Canaries. So your job is to help industrialist miners uh, get as much um, resources out of the mine? Can you, well, can, you believe, can you believe that our government thinks that we should have a new coal mine? Well... In the middle of this climate crisis? No, but... Uh, the thing is, once you believe the ideology of climate change, then you will, of course, be against coal. But the, the climate crisis, as we say it, it's a lot more nuanced 
we don't have the long-term data to say for sure that it's man-made. I'm, I'm not saying that pollution's a good thing. We, we shouldn't chop down trees. But we must, especially in the cost of living crisis, invest in sources of energy that don't mean that poor people have to then eat their dogs. I've got two things to say, John. Go on. One is that you, you're, you're very much on your own. Could you speak up just a tiny bit, just for the microphone, please? Well, I didn't give you permission to video. Permission? Anyway, sorry, carry on. Don't worry about the louder. Carry on. Or don't speak. It's up to you. Either. I didn't give you permission to video. Oh, but... Uh, or indeed there's to a, take a photograph. Oh, no, but there's a tacit... Seeing as we entered the conversation and I'm clearly filming, there was a tacit consent, which but I'm working... Okay, I will say this. Thank you. You, you are on your own now yeah. in that the majority of people now don't, don't deny climate change is happening and it's caused by... Majority doesn't even, mean correct. Even the fossil fuel industry have had to admit that they've known this for years. They've known for years that what they're doing is increasing carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere and that yes. that's causing climate change. They've known it. So nobody, nobody is now saying, oh, it's not true. Or, it's, yes. But, no. um, so that's number one. Cost of living crisis, absolutely, that is of top concern. Yes. But, you know, it's, it's very much linked to the climate situation and the climate crisis. So well, take, take for example... Green initiatives makes poor people suffer. No. No, because it costs more. It doesn't. And they're poor. They don't have the money. No, it doesn't. Green... Generating wind, electricity by wind and solar is cheaper. It's cheaper than gas. Are you sure about that? Do, what do you know about this? Who are you, actually? Who am I? Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, my name's Charlie. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> so so what, you, your job is you go around filming people without their permission and whapping Wow, them that's a passive-aggressive... Uh, Rhetorical question you've just said. So you're saying, is my job to go around filming people without their permission? Is that what you do? We're in public, madam. The, the point of permission is a moot point here. We're in public. And that's passive aggressive to say, is that what I do? I mean, I could say, is it your job to go around being absolutely brainwashed by the latest current thing ideology from up above by the big corporations, oh, well, which you then follow? Clear, it's clear that our values don't align, so I'm, I don't wish to speak to anyone. Oh, do you only speak to people whose values align with yours? There's no debate with I people of a... I don't see any. There's no point in continuing this conversation. Oh, you know, that's exactly what the National Socialists said about the, the, the Semites. It's exactly what the Soviet Union said about capitalists and it's what you're saying about me right now so I'd like to thank you for almost having a rational debate with me and maybe one day when you're not ideologically driven we can engage on a human level but until then I guess I'll see you at the civil war I guess at the civil war is that what it's going to come to thank you canary lady have I no conscience of course I have a conscience I'm a father of three I, I, I live in the same world you live in I'm sorry? What do you want for your children? What do I want for my children? Oh, Jesus. You're speaking like a religious person. Like, I don't agree with you that there is this climate catastrophe. Here's Extinction Rebellion with the... Uh... It's okay. I, I'm still going to be polite. I may ideologically disagree with uh, your point of view, but I still think you have every right to share it, and free speech trumps everything else. So... Uh... Extinction Rebellion, very interesting Scandinavian Nordic rune. Look at that. Very Nordic. So uh, they're addressed as uh, canaries in the coal mine, which is, it's something. Hello. Hi, Charlie. Hello. We don't want any coal mines. Hey, uh, I, I recognize that. How are you? I'm good, and you? Very good. Now, I was saying to the other lady, I may disagree, but I, I agree with your free speech and you should be allowed to express yourselves as long as you don't go and block any roads <laughs> well we might change our mind <laughs> no time to die -na -na -na. no time for a no time for a call no time for a call oh look no time for a coal mine no time for a coal mine. And you, sir, you're the smartest dressed Extinction Rebellion protester I've ever seen. Looking very good. Well, I'm going to be Rishi Sunak. Are you? Good on you. Good on you. He's going to be Rishi Sunak. I'm sure there's a... I'm sure there's a... Something going on. There's some more placard making people down there. 
Um, I'm sure this building's guilty, guys. It looks guilty, it's white. <laughs> Parsonage Square, flats overlooking. Buildings, flats, apartments, and you got your canaries. Canaroids. Okay, I understand now. He is literally Rishi Sunak. Hey, Rishi! I get it now. I understand what you're saying about Rishi Sunak. <laughs> Just overheard some of the ladies saying, who's that guy? And then they're like, no, no, don't talk to him. And then one of them said, yes, he just follows us around. Okay, I just follow them around. So uh, behind me are the canaries in the coal mine. And in front of me are the police officers who are here to make sure they don't obstruct, obstruct the public highways, I guess. And one canary has gone forward. I think the, the bird people the aviary enthusiasts have sent a... Hi guys. Hello. They've sent a, a canary forward. Where's she gone? I've lost her anyway. There's a canary that's run off somewhere. One of the police Toyota Corollas is, is off. I think to find that one canary. And I should find her too. I have a, a suspicion she's going to block something. Currently it's a most British protest in the lovely sunny Autumnal Square, there's only about 12 of them. Police are not anywhere near them. They're middle class, middle aged people. Cups of tea, as I say, a very, a very British protest. For now, until they block the road. Sun's back, blue skies are back. But it's 20 degrees, that's probably normal for this time of year. Maybe slightly above average temperature. Um, but uh, that one degree above average means that these guys here are going to super glue their hands to the tarmac and uh, they're going to screech impotently as the uh, paint thinner police and the uh, road users um, unobstruct the highway. Bloody hell, it's like a Jurassic Park tree here in Parsonage Gardens. Jurassic Park! Da -da 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 -da. Some more reinforcements arriving. Hello, ladies. <laughs> they're very... um. They all seem cut from a very similar cloth. The birds of a feather have flocked together. No pun with the yellow canaries. Are you warning them off me, madam? I've, I, I've known... I've known this gentleman for more than 10 years and... So you shouldn't come round and like warn people against me. No, but this whole like controlling the narrative is very Soviet that you guys do. Okay, guys. Uh, uh oh, the um, the commissar. Nice to see you, man. You're the best, mate. The commissar and uh, the assistant commissar of the um, oblast, the Manchester Saint Petersburg oblast. You cannot speak to the dirty, dirty capitalist. I'm not even really a capitalist. I'm an ideology-free. Speaking of ideologies, where's where's Priestman? Priestman is a. Uh, Christian climate act. Look at this, Extinction Rebellion have got a... They have a... They have a Christian... Look at this. Um, Father, sorry to bother you. Are you a priest? Or a, what do you call a vicar? Oh, the priest refuses. Very Christian of you. Jesus wouldn't refuse to speak to me. No, he might push you over. There. No, he wouldn't. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going to focus on this now. Jesus. Oh, don't, 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 don't usher me away with your hand, madam. But, but I'm speaking to the priest. Madam, please, there's two grown-ups having a conversation. Please. Um, to the priest. You are the nastiest, rudest priest I've ever not spoken to. I am the nastiest. I mean, I don't, don't want to, don't, don't want to be all anti-Christian about it. But have you ever? Are you aware of some of the Catholic churches? Uh, I think you, you, behavior? you need to have a shower and shampoo your hair, my friend. Oh. <laughs> what? Have a bath. Yeah, have a bath. <laughs> father, father. Hey, please, just leave me alone. Be Christian about You're it. You're disturbing. Please, father. Father, don't, don't, I'm a fellow Christian, don't, don't forsake me, like the Pharisees forsaked put Jesus. Your, put your camera down, yeah, and I'll talk to you. Put the ca oh, wait, wait, don't come too close to me, don't no, come too close. Put the camera away. No, don't touch it. Put don't, the camera no, don't away. touch it. Then, then don't talk to me then. Why did you feel you were able to touch my equipment? Wow, you people are ideologically... Why? You're putting the camera in our faces. 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm respecting social space, and I'm trying to have an interview. Uh, but you guys are in public. I'm trying to do a story about it. How can I do that without coming within a meter? Aggressive. I oh, is that because I'm a man, madam? My, my existence is toxic. I'm aggressive. Wow. Oh! Bloody hell. Granny, didn't expect that, Granny. Let's focus on why we're here today instead of this. Okay, they're very, very concerned with uh, controlling the narrative and uh, Priestman, uh, he's maybe the biggest hypocrite here, wearing the dog collar of uh, Christianity. Maybe, perhaps, the biggest hypocrite, biggest ideologue. Oh, madam, you don't control the park. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm meters away from you guys. Oh, don't, no, no, whoa, whoa, don't reverse into me. Um, so, right. Okay, okay. Oh, there you go. Rishi Sunak with a bin bag. I appreciate Rishi Sunak with a bin bag. That's quite cool. Oh, they want their the message out just with the right people, with the right media. They don't want the wrong media to maybe report on it. They want the right media. Or shall I say the left media? <laughs> Commissar Anastasia Putin here is doing a great job. She's uh, rallying the KGB very nicely. Oh, this is the lady who called me a TWAT. Love it. For the official um, publication, they'll, uh, they'll pose, which so won't answer questions. It's fair enough. They can choose who they talk to, but I'm also free, as it's a free country ish. Free ish. I can also be in a public square and speak to them. Messages. Here we go. Messages. 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 Audio. Let's get a bit of audio. Let's see, Let's see what the propaganda is today. Let's see what it is. Let's see. Let's have a listen. Okay. Here we go. We're here today okay. to ask Probitas. Insurance company in this building. Probitas, okay. Probitas, to take a stand uh -huh. against the proposed West Cumbria coal mine. But we need that coal mine we for want jobs. Probitas we need people to, to have jobs. No we want them to say to yes. Ensuring this dangerous and irresponsible project. It's not that dangerous. We need we coal. We take into the streets today to stand up for the health of our families and our communities and that of future generations. We are not alone. Today, tens of thousands of people across the UK wow, and tens millions of thousands. more wow. across the world okay, okay. are saying no to fossil fuel. Unless it's in China and India, then you guys don't say anything. No to the West Cumbria coal mine. No. Yes. Yes to green jobs. What about what about Chinese coal mines? That contribute to protecting life on Earth, not destroying it. They say nothing about the Chinese or the Indian coal plants. Chinese, Chinese coal plants. Well, good luck with that. I don't think you can. You think you can, but you think you can. Well, she's changed from calling me a climate breakdown. So we say no to the West Cambrian coal mine. All right, boring, 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 boring. Behind me, they chant. This building here has probitas. I don't think Probitas is uh, that bothered about the 12 grannies in the square. Okay. Bossing me.
right, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to Derby. We have two uniformed officers. One is public protection. Hello, Hello you're public protection. Yeah. And what's this one? St. Peter's Ranger. Nice. Yeah, this Fantastic, I love it. Cool. And you're clearing out the metal sticks and pipes and yes, all this stuff potential used, weaponry. Weapons, yeah. I walked around a bit earlier. This area is very popular with like the crackhead types, yeah, isn't it? It is. Sorry to admit that. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just doing a, a vlog around Derby, oh, so okay. you're the most you're the most uh, photographic, cinematic, photogenic people have come. Photogenic. So please subscribe to the Charlie Veach channel yeah. on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> 